What's up, guys? How you doing, man? Hope you guys are doing well. And you're enjoying yourself in Red Dead. And this is my favorite season in Red Dead. It's Halloween, so it's a lot of all hollow call to arms. And in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way for you to level up as a new player in Red Dead right now. Now, but before I get into that, man, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, continue to support the channel, support your boy. Now that all that's out of the way, let's get right into it. All right, right now with it being Halloween, it is double money and double XP for Call to Arms. But what makes this special is that you don't have to complete the Call to Arms to get the double money and double XP. It's just for participating in the Call to Arms. So every kill you make, every round you survive, is gonna be double money and double XP. Now surviving and completing the Call to Arms is gonna give you 30% off of a horse. But again, we're here for the double money and the double XP. Now to get to Call of Arms, if you don't know how to do it, you go to your satchel, go all the way over to documents, go down, hit telegrams, and then you'll go to the All Hallows Call to Arms. Now, all of these call to arms are a lot of fun, but the one we want to take advantage of that will help you survive the longest, especially for new players, is the Heartlands Oil Field. Now, we're going to go there. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so when you spawn in, you're going to be in the middle of town, and you can move um, the, the townspeople to help you. You want to try to have them scattered throughout in here, move as many around this tower as you possibly can. You want to surround a tower as best you can to cover all angles. And then once you have the, that tower covered, then move people closer over here. Pull them in as close as you possibly can um, so, you, so that when the time runs out and you need to go heal someone, they're closer than you having to run farther away because the time in between rounds is going to get shorter and shorter and you're not going to have enough time to run and heal somebody that's all the way over there to keep them in a fight with you coming from the tower. Now, what is different about this time around is that it used to be safe for you to come in here. Go up this side of the ladder and you could be able to get to the roof. Now, the problem with this building and this roof is that they now spawn on top of the roof. So while you're trying to aim out and kill them, they're going to spawn right behind you and kill you. And they spawn people with tomahawks, which is a which is a major problem with the All Hallows. Now, when you come over here, ooh, that was a big jump. When you come over here, the great thing is that about this location is that when you start, before you even move anybody, there's a person that's right here, and then there's someone up here with a gun, and there's also an ammo box up here. So that person that's up there on that platform with the gun will kind of cover the person down here and that person down here will cover you and watch this ladder. Now you want to come all the way up here. And here's why I, would, I suggest you bring like a bolt action rifle and a shotgun. You don't need to bring a sniper rifle because a sniper spawns right up here. So if you run out of ammo, you need to get a sniper. You can just pick it up and it's right there. The great thing about this is that you're covered from all sides. So you can dip down, hop up, take a shot, and dip back down. Now, when you get to like the later rounds, you'll have problems with the people who shoot arrows because the arrows will go through the little gaps and they'll hit you so you want to make sure you're taking the people taking out the people with the arrows as soon as you see them the tomahawks cannot reach you from up here that's the great thing about it you will not be tomahawk from up this high they can't throw that high they can't reach but you can pop them off from here now when you're up here you're gonna have to worry about everything's gonna come from all over here it's gonna come from all over here up here it's gonna come from back here there'll be a little pentagram back there and then it's gonna come from right over here it'll be a little pentagram up in here so it's come from come from right in here and they'll all run this way and then they'll all come right in here to try to shoot you and the great thing like i said you could duck down and you could hop up and shoot and you'll still have all of this cover to protect you now there will be like a sniper that's like in here it's going to be dark for you to see him so you're going to have to like kind of pop up and get that auto aim and see if you can get them and once you get the locked on to them take them out immediately 
But again, you won't be able to see him because it's going to be all dark in here. And he's going to be in there. But you'll see the bullets flying by, which will let you know, hey, there's a sniper. Let me take him out. But this is the perfect location, especially for a brand new player. You can ride out so many waves just from being up here. And I ran this Call of Arms solo by myself a few moments ago. And I got all the way to wave, to wave six before anyone even attempted to climb the ladder. And when they do climb the ladder, you'll be able to see them, pull out the shotgun, blast them. But it wasn't to wave six that, that one person attempted to climb the ladder. And once I shot that one person, no one else really climbed the ladder. I also got to wave eight with these two guys, the two townspeople still covering me right here. I just kept getting down, healing them. And anytime someone was here, I um I helped them out and shot them. Now in wave six is what's gonna be important is to make these make sure these guys stay alive, is that the wolves are gonna come. That'll be the first wave that you see the wolves. So you gotta get to this corner as soon as you see them, start popping them off because you wanna keep that guy alive on the bottom. Um, and then this guy up here, he'll he'll be fine. He'll try to help as well. But you want to make sure you keep him alive as long as possible because he's taking out everything that's on the ground. And this guy is covering him pretty much. Now, you got to watch when they come from this angle because they will climb this ladder right here. Oh, not that guy. <laughs> this ladder right here to get the guy on the platform. So you got to kind of kind of watch his back um, to make sure that nothing happens to them. But like I said, this is the perfect spot to ride it out. And you'll get, if you go, if you happen to come in solo, you'll get all of the kids kills, you get all this XP, and you'll get a nice amount of money, and you'll get some gold. And I'll show you what I got uh, from me running this call to arms uh, once, once I get out of here. Now, if you happen to come with somebody, you know, throw them on that second platform, and you, and you go up to the top platform. And then when it starts getting dicey, they can climb up with you and go to the top. That top is going to be the best vantage point you have and the best cover. Um, but that second platform will give you cover, and it'll give you an, um, a better angle to be able to support these guys down here. And like I said, as soon as you come down, if you ever run out of ammo, you can go up there, and there's an ammo box there. And then you come right around here, and there's an ammo box right here. And this is what I got getting to just round six. But that's it, man. That is how you're going to survive so many rounds and get so much XP and so much money, man. Find that tower, ride it out, especially if you solo. It's going to keep you safe for so many rounds. If you bring a partner, make sure you communicate and you guys um, pretty much surround that tower. And you'll be able to ride it out, man. No problem. But like I said, that's it for this one. Hopefully it was helpful in some way, shape, or form, man. And if it was, man, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Continue to support my channel. Support your boy. <laughs> and I appreciate everybody that's, that's subscribed and supported me thus far, man. You guys are the real MVPs. Appreciate you so much. But that is it, man. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of rounds. And uh, I'll show you how much I got so that you can see, you know, what the payout was for me. And uh, that's it. I'll catch you all on the flip side.